Hey guys, it's Trevor here from the Wonder of Cichlids. I just wanted to do a, a quick species profile here this evening. It's actually the evening of the Super Bowl. I had much more going on waiting for the game, so I just wanted to show off this fish. This is one of the more exotic, rare African cichlids you're going to see. The Niacochromus prostomagon. Now I just got these in my last shipment. I have a holding female. So these are the Niacochromus, the Niacochromus prostomagon orange caps. You can see there's a male here just starting to develop the cap. And uh, these guys get a nice, um, these guys really get a nice swallow tail as well in the back. As you can see from the picture. This is a fully mature male. It takes a long time for these guys to get this way, you know. This is a full colored male. It takes uh, months in the home aquarium for the fish to get this color. They're definitely a patient man's fish, but definitely a fish worth keeping. So these guys are collected in Gome. They're, uh, they're a fish that swim around the shallow waters. They're like, you'll find them over the sandy substrate. They like to dig pits as well. But um, you know, in the aquarium, they're a very easy going fish. Very easy going fish. Once they're kept in a species only tank, they'll be good, you know. The, the problem with these guys, they're too, they're too soft, too passive to put in an all male tank. They definitely get bullied, you know. So, like I said already, these are a fish that are going to take a lot of time, you know. They're like, these are fairly new here, they're settling in, but, you know, they're the kind of fish when you do purchase, you're just going to have to give them some time. But as you can see, you know, we already have a holding female, and um, she's been holding now about 12 days already, so I will definitely strip her tomorrow, but um, one of the more unique fish. Watch the trailers in this guy, look. Beautiful. So in the wild, these guys are more planktivores. They're in like basically feeding the open water. But I find like since I got these guys in, they'll eat any type of dry food. They're not picky. And for breeding, they def they'd ideally need um they'd ideally need like a sand you know sand substrate, a few rocks. Obviously they're in a holding tank here because I'm selling them, but um, you know, not much to look at now, but you can see the potential in these guys. Gauss is a beautiful strain, that's where they were imported from, so I just wanted to share it, you know. And uh, I'm going to put more information in the bio below, so if you feel like reading it, I have all the information down there and my experiences with them, okay. So, um, thanks for watching guys.